Callie here to demonstrate a bottoms up carry. Bottoms up position with a kettlebell can be done in several different movement patterns. Uh, it can be done with a clean, a press, a get up, um, a windmill, a pistol, pretty endless uh, what you can do with bottoms up. The thing I like about bottoms up uh, is that it really does focus on your lat control. You cannot do it correctly if you're not utilizing your lats, your latissimus dorsi. And uh, that's a real great learning curve for people because if you are continually using too much of your shoulder, too much of your front delt, causing injury and uh, pain, misuse and overuse of that body part, the bottoms up can teach your body very quickly how to stay in your lats and move your body as one strong unit. It is total body contraction uh, in a dynamic way and it is very taxing on your nervous system. What I want to show you in this video though is a bottoms up carry. So what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to show you a couple of things. I don't expect everyone to get the bottoms up carry right away and what you'll notice when you try this is that you probably need to use a lighter weight. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cheat curl just to get the bell in the air and stabilize it with my other hand. Now I'll show you what happens when you already know how to clean the bell into bottoms up, but for now I'm getting it up there manually and then I'm going to let go with my left hand and I'm going to stay in my lats. What I'm going to do with this bottoms up carry is I'm going to continue walking with posture, lat control, grip control, and I'm going to turn around and walk back. And obviously you would do both arms with this. You would walk down with one arm, with a kettlebell in one arm, and then switch and walk back with the other. Now, if you're not sure how to get the bell up there, that's the one way you can do it. If you already know how to bottoms up clean into a bottoms up rack position, then you're going to simply do it like this. Your grip is completely around the bell, the thumb completely around the fingers. You're going to hike it back like you would a swing or a clean or a snatch and you're going to come into your rack position. Staying tight in your grip and your lap and you're going to walk down and then turn around and walk back. You're going to notice how demanding this is. You notice I only took about five or six steps there, that was pretty demanding. And right now I'm a little bit out of breath. Practice these with control, with grid form, slow and controlled. Use a lighter kettlebell. 